A few weeks ago, I said his foreign policy proposals and reckless statements represent a danger to our national security. But you might think that because he has spent his life as a businessman, he'd be better prepared to handle the economy. Well, it turns out he's dangerous there too. Just like he shouldn't have his finger on the button, he shouldn't have his hands on our economy. She lacks the t I have read so much about the emails. Folks, honestly, she's guilty as hell. She's guilty as hell. And the fact that they even la and this is true. The fact that they even allow her to participate in this race is a disgrace to the United States. It's a disgrace to our nation. It's a disgrace. Government and the judgment and the competence. Hillary Clinton wants to bring in people who believe women should be enslaved and gays put to death. Maybe her motivation lies among the more than 1,000 foreign donations Hillary failed to disclose while at the State Department. Hillary Clinton may be the most corrupt person ever to seek the presidency of the United States. Who are you gonna vote for? I'm not gonna vote. One's a liar, and the other is a racist. You gotta vote. It's un-American not to vote. There are many countries where people cannot vote. That's their problem. Our problem is we can't find a decent candidate. You're right. Then how come Trump has all the people without college degrees and lots of low-income people supporting him? You don't need a candidate. You vote for the party. You have to vote Democratic. The Democrats are the party of the people. The Republicans are the party of the rich and big business. With respect to my esteemed colleague, the young lady has a point. You can't vote for Hillary. She's a criminal. Obama is protecting her. Otherwise she would be in jail already. Donald is my man. He will do what nobody can. I know where you stand. To the right of David Duke. Hillary's my lady. Even if she's shady. How about that? So here we are faced with the national conundrum, and it only took 240 years to get here. Not bad. Let's hope it doesn't take 240 years to escape this mess. Ask yourselves, how did our great country end up without a worthy presidential candidate? Yeah. Zero for 22 in the primaries. <laughs>